back, foodie adventure fans. We have a seltzer water from Trader Joe's once again. And it's a blood orange and orange juice. So it's going to be about 8% juice. We're going to give this a shot. You know, if it works out pretty well, we can actually mix drinks with this. Not that I'm recommending it, haven't tried it yet, but let's give it a shot. A little four pack or something like that. Taste the blood orange. Uh, taste a lot of the regular. I mean, see, this is great to mix a drink with because it's not too sweet. But I don't know if I'd actually buy this just to drink it. I need to drink a little bit more of it. It is organic, limited ingredients. Maybe two grams of sugar, no added sugars, carbonated water, organic blood orange juice, and orange juice. Very little blood orange, you know. Let's get a, go ahead and get a glass and let them see what it looks like. I'm going to pour it out. Oh, there we are. St. Arnold. I wish I was having one of those right now. This is how you pour a beer. But it's not beer, so don't worry about it. You can tell there's not much blood orange in here. Because if it's real blood orange, you'll be able to see it. So... I'm saying it's got to be like less than 1% in there. But it does have the flavor of blood orange. So I'm going to say this is great for mixing drinks. So you don't have a crappy hangover. Um, I would buy it to mix drinks. I wouldn't buy it to drink it unless you really like... I don't know. It's flavored water. So I guess it just tastes more like some watered down Tropicana. But... Seltzer water. A little bit of grapefruit juice added to that. Maybe some vodka. But yeah, this is kind of boring. Alright, Foodie Adventure is signing off a little bit early today. We're going to give this, uh, you know, out of five stars, we'll give it maybe like a two or three. Because it's useful, but not something I'd enjoy. Alright, thanks a lot guys. So, I'm